All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the To Boldly Go mod, which is being made by forum user Daniel L. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is something that is simply spectacular, and that is a procedurally generated galaxy. Yes, that's right, folks. Now, thanks to this mod, you can actually create your own custom, completely randomized galaxy full of stars and planets and moons for you to explore. And I love that idea. As a lot of you guys may know if you've watched the series for a while, one of my favorite things in this game is planet packs that add in new star systems. As I get kind of bored with the vanilla star system and want to go out and have the challenge and difficulty of going across the vastness of the cosmos to try and make my way to another star. And now, thanks to this mod, you basically have endless possibilities in that regard. So let's just jump into the tracking station and take a look at the galaxy that I created procedurally to, you know, show you guys in this episode. And you'll notice we have all sorts of stars scattered all around of different kinds, sizes, colors, etc. And it is impressive if we actually start zooming way, way out, you'll notice that I have a lot of stars, in fact. I believe I've got somewhere around 50 stars, some of which have planets, some of which don't, and some of those planets have moons, some of which don't, and there we go. We are zoomed all the way out into our galaxy, and that is what we have. Now, some of them did kind of fade in and out because of positioning and color, etc., like that sort of central cluster, but yeah, overall, there should be about 50 uh, different stars in here, and uh, going as far out as, say, this one here, Denaban which, oh my god, look at that altitude from Kerbin. Oh wow, that's a lot of commas. That is a whole lot of commas. Ooh boy. And yeah, that is some place you could travel to if you so desired. And I love it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty impressive thing to have a procedurally generated galaxy like this that you have the freedom to now go and explore. And it's at this point in regards to the procedural generation, I should probably do something that I don't normally do in these episodes. And that's briefly explain how to install the mod. Now, it, it installs very similarly to any other mod. You put the mod folder into the game data folder inside of the overall Kerbal Space Program folder. So that's just like any other mod out there. But how you actually create these procedural galaxies is you have to run an exterior program. This doesn't just create it when you start a new game, the mod maker is doing it through a third party.exe file, and you will find that file inside of the mod folder. So when you uh, install this mod in game data, you just go in the to boldly go mod folder where you will find a .exe file. Simply click that and it will bring you into a little uh, box that'll ask you a few questions, basically allowing you to customize to a degree your procedural galaxy. It'll first ask you if you want planets, yes or no. And I mean, come on, who doesn't want planets? planets to explore, you're gonna hit yes. And then it'll go through all of the different types of stars and you can put in a number. Now you may not necessarily get exactly that number of stars, but you know what, it'll be close enough. And then after you've done that, it'll give you a basic overview telling you how many stars it'll have in the galaxy, how many planets and how many moons. And then you simply just click anywhere or hit any key and it'll exit that .exe file. And then you'll notice there's a new config file in that folder called Galaxy, and that is your new procedural galaxy, which is quite cool that it does create this file, because theoretically, you could then take that if you've created a really awesome galaxy and share it with your friends, or save it in a folder somewhere for you to reuse later, and that's, you know, a fun little option. Now, once you have that all done, then you can start a new game, and bam, you have your galaxy ready and raring to go for you to play, and that 
it's it's a pretty simple process and uh, you know pretty easy to go through and pretty quick thankfully and then you have all of this now let's actually take a bit closer of a look at one star system in particular I put a ship and the Bess star system, which is just uh, the nearest neighbor to our Kerbal star system here, just a little bit farther away. And if we zoom in on this, it is actually a star system that has two planets, and each planet actually has two different moons, which is quite cool. And quite an intriguing orbit as well. Very, very interesting about how the different planes of orbit are here, but very cool nonetheless. And if we zoom in on Bess, uh, uh, best one here, uh, the planet we're currently orbiting, you may notice something interesting. And that's that the planet looks very familiar. Yeah, this is one thing that kind of bothers me about the mod at the moment, but at the same time, I can kind of live with, as this is the first release of this mod. And it's really more of a kind of proof of concept, in my opinion, to show that you can procedurally generate an entire freaking galaxy that works. And so for the time being, the terrestrial planets are all stock planets. Same with the moons as well. Your planets and your moons will be stock. Now your gas giants, the mod maker does have a couple of different uh, gradient retextures for gas giants, so you will find different colorations of those, which makes it a bit more interesting, but the terrestrial planets and moons are all completely stock, which again is just for the time being. The mod maker is wanting to make randomized planets down the road, as well as adding in random planetary rings, which I can't wait for. That'd be great. I could care less if it was Duna, if it also had like some cool rings around it. That'd make it worth it to me. Uh, the <laughs> mod maker is also wanting to add uh, asteroids, rogue planets, uh, potentially... Uh, oh, God, looking over at my other monitor now because I'm forgetting... Uh, different galaxy types, so when you procedurally generate, you could choose between a disk or an ellipse galaxy, for instance. Uh, the stellar debris disks, things like that. So, in the future, this will be greatly expanded to have a lot more procedural options, but for the time being, like I said, you know what, I can live with it just because of the sheer fact that I have so many different stars out there to explore, I could kind of care less if a planet or two scattered about. I've seen before. I'm mainly in it for getting to different star systems. And that is pretty freaking awesome. So let's actually just kind of cycle through a few other star systems here. So we've got this one, which of course, as I mentioned, was Bess. Oh, that's our star system. Oh god, quickly go through there. Oh boy. Almost. And th now we're back at Bess. Interesting. <laughs> Best one, two, three, four, seven, six, Hoven, another beautiful planet with, uh, or beautiful star rather, with three planets orbiting around this one. What do we got for these? So we zoom in on this. Uh, ooh, God, that one has a lot of moons. Wow, look at that. Very cool. And it, again, familiar. <laughs> Wait, is that? Yeah, that is, that is. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's got its different moons there. Lovely. A gas giant that, as I s said, has been <laughs> retextured, as you can see here. So that is one of the retextured jobs for those. But hey, it's different looking, so yay to that. And it's got a couple of moo. Hello, another gas giant retextured with a load of moons. Wow, this that system, that system had a lot of moons. Oh boy, that's. Also got some impressive planets and moons there. Very nice. And so far, everything has planets. There should be many of these star systems that, well, actually aren't technically systems, but that just have stars. Ah, I think this is one. Galkos. This doesn't have any planets whatsoever. So we just go to the next, which also has no planets. This, corn. Huh, that's an interesting one. I hadn't noticed this one yet. That is a tiny tiny little star wow okay well there we go that explains why it has no planets but hey you could come here and i don't know put a satellite around this thing to study it because it is a very tiny friggin star and that's just fun we got soth here and just so so many others we could just kind of keep on tabbing through for a while before we get through all of them because again there should be somewhere around a hundred some odd celestial bodies in this uh, galaxy that I've created. So we could go through these for a while. 
<laughs> that, that is what I love about this mod. And yeah, if you, like me, enjoy exploring different star systems scattered around the world, the galaxy, this is a perfect mod for you. And if you enjoy things like the interstellar mods and whatnot that add in faster than light engines, again, this is kind of a perfect mod for you because you can finally put them to good use. I mean, come on. Look at all of those star systems for you to go and explore. It's just cool. So yeah, if you would like to give this a try for yourself, and I definitely suggest that you go and do it, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And uh, here is my to boldly go ship that around this particular star system of Bess. And yeah, you can have fun with it, explore new solar systems all over your new custom galaxy, and yeah, I can't wait for the different features that are planned for the future, especially things like the planetary rings, which I believe, ooh, give me a moment, let me look at my other screen real quick and go to the last page of the mod postings, I believe he said that yes, he wants the next release to add in planetary rings, more star types, research bodies compat compatibility, so you will be able to go to another, other star systems to actually do research, and a more variety of moon templates. Very cool, that'll be a very interesting release, I have no idea when that'll be coming, but... It should be fun when it does get here. Uh, but yeah, that is To Boldly Go. Definitely check it out. Link in the description. A very, very cool pack of just infinite possibilities, really. And I hope you all, of course, have also enjoyed this video today and that you do come back for the next when we'll be looking at what hopefully proves to be yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one!